Welcome to all. We have been seeing different aspects of technical textiles. In connection to that, today we will be seeing a module on cloth tech and home textiles. The cloth tech segment of technical textile comprises of all apparel and textile components used for specific function applications in garments and accessories. These components are largely hidden like interlining in shirts, sewing threads, shoelaces, labels, hooks and loop fasteners. Various fabrics like umbrella cloth are also classified under cloth tech segment. Sewing thread alone accounts for around 60% of technical textile market under cloth tech followed by labels with 18% share. The market for cloth tech product is expected to grow at the rate of 8.2%. Velcro, zip, fasteners, elastics and shoelaces are the high growth potential areas. Export of cloth tech products from India are estimated as Rs. 338 crores. The demand for these products is satisfied by domestic production with imports of only around Rs. 400 crores. The cloth, the umbrella cloth is 100% imported and not manufactured in India at all. Interlining and narrow fabrics like elastic and verco are also imported over 15% for their domestic consumption. Now we shall see the objectives of this section. At the end of this session, uh, the learners will be able to appreciate the significant role of textile components like sewing threads, shoelaces, labels, hook and loop fasteners. They will also gain knowledge about the functional role of textile components and their market potential. Now we shall be seeing the definition. The textile components with specific function applications chiefly used in garments and accessory fabrications like lining, sewing threads, shoelaces, labels, hook and loop fasteners and velcro. Cloth textile products. Cloth tech includes all types of apparels and accessories used irrespective of age, sex, nationality and also textile items used for the production or support of these items. The apparels include a wide range from small infant garments to suits. They are also made out of different fibers, blends and mixtures. The fabric construction methods also vary as oven, non-oven and knitted with all sorts of design, color and finishes. However, in this module, we will concentrate on textile products that support the proper functioning of apparels and accessories. The first one we will be seeing is the shoelace. Shoelace is a band that pulls the shoe together to hold it to the foot. A shoelace consists of two parts, namely a tape that pulls the shoe tightly together and a metal cap on the edge of the lace. This metal cap is placed at the edge of the lace to help it in passing the lace through the eyelets of the shoe. Shoe laces are also known as shoe strings and boot laces. Shoe laces are primarily made of polyester, cotton and nylon with the count varying as 6, 10s, 20s and 40s and a denier of 300. These laces are available as flat and round shapes. Round laces are commonly used for leather and formal shoes whereas flat laces find major applications in sports and casual shoes. The common size of shoe laces are 24 inches, 30 inches, 36 inches and 48 inches but 24 and 30 inches sizes constitute 80% of the market. The other application of shoe laces are tie up in garments, handles in handbags and shopping bags, binders in office files and home decorative items. The usage of laces in these applications is expected to be 10% of the total usage. Maximum companies producing laces are found in Delhi and Agra. India also imports 
80 percent of shoelaces. The next component we will be seeing is interlining. In order to maintain the shape or bulkiness of a garment, a thick material is used in between the outer layer and the inner layer of a garment. This is called interlining. In spite of being invisible from outside, interlining is considered as an important part of the garment since it ensures accurate fit and optimum wearer comfort. Interlining finds applications in waistbands and belt loops of pants and trousers, in the cuffs, collars and plackets of shirts, tailored jackets and blazers. Interlining may be oven, knitted or non-oven. The major raw materials used are cotton, polyester, polyester cotton or polyester viscose as a whole fabric or as a blend. Their GSM varies from 120 to 250 for cotton and 18 to 70 for other types of fibers and blends. Sometimes the interlacing fabrics are fused with thermoplastic material. Ready-made and tailor-made shirts account for 80% of consumption of interlining. The balance 20% of interlining being consumed in other garments. Bombay Dyeing and Ruby Mills are the key manufacturers of oven interlining in India. Interlining materials are also imported from Korea, Singapore, Hong Kong and Taiwan. The next aspect is Sip Fasteners. Sip Fasteners is a device which is used to join two edge of fabrics temporarily and it is described as sibs or zip fasteners. They are the most important component used in ready-made garment industry, soft furnishing industry, packaging industry, leather garment and footwear industry. Zip fasteners or zippers consist of two parallel treat uh, strings closed or open by means of a sliding clip between them. A zip has three major parts, the tape, the element and the slider. The tape is usually made of polyester. Zippers are classified into two major groups based on the raw material as coil and plastics. The former uses polyester nylon whereas the later uses metallic and modules. However, vinyl tapes and cotton tapes are also used. Zippers have applications in the following areas. In case of luggage industry, it is used in soft luggages, handbags and purses. In apparel industries, it is used in trousers, jackets, skirts and frocks. In case of home furnishing, it is used in pillows and in leather garment and footwear industry, it is used for garments and shoes. Generally, the sizes of sibs varies from 10 to 24 centimeters with a width of 2 to 4 centimeters. However, the length of the sips can be determined by the end of the product wherein the sips come in a running and so cut as per requirement. The key manufacturers of sip fasteners are YKK India Private Limited, Tex Corporation Private Limited, Codes India and Slide Fasteners Limited. The total market size of SIP fasteners is expected to increase to 950 million meters, registering a growth rate of 12% year on year. Hong Kong and China together contribute around 70% total imports. Over 50% of the exports of SIP fasteners are to Bangladesh, whereas Around 12% are exported to Pakistan, 10% to Sri Lanka and 8% to UAE. The main quality standard application for the zip fasteners in India are IS 8894, 3184, 4829. Other and ASTM D2061 to 
the next aspect we will be seeing is elastic narrow fabrics elastics are one of the major items used in all types of clothing elastics are described as stretchable fabrics which are used to hold the fabric in shape usually they come in narrow fabrics hence they are also known as elastic narrow fabrics they are an important input in undergarment industry they are also used in other garments like shorts jackets and skirts molded luggages baby diapers sports goods and medical goods elastic narrow fabrics made from elastomatic yarns and yarns from cotton polyester and nylon they can either be woven or knitted polyester and nylon yarns of 150 to 200 dinar are used for this purpose some of the properties of these stretchable fabrics are shrink resistance durability to wash soft feel and withstand stress knitted elastic tapes are generally available in widths of 8 mm 12 mm 20 mm and 25 mm woven elastic tapes range in widths of 25 mm 32 mm and 38 mm these elastic tapes are primarily used for undergarments the market size of elastic narrow fabrics is estimated at 830 million meters valued at rupees 365 crores the main manufacturers of elastic narrow fabrics are elastic private limited sky industry and br elastics almost 40% of elastic narrow fabrics are imported from hong kong followed by 17% from sri lanka and 14% from china the next aspect we will be seeing is the fabric fasteners it is also known as hook and loop tape fasteners fasteners are the most vital part of a cloth textiles they add in holding the fabric in shape with the body fasteners are of various types and makes in olden days they were made of thin strip of fabrics which were sewed into cords and attached to respective areas today they are made as two adjustable tapes of fabrics which can be placed on top of each other genetically termed as hook and loop tape fasteners velcro is the brand name of this fabric loop and hook fastener it consists of a combination of two separate woven tapes one called as hook tape and the other called as loop tape the tapes display excellent fastener pro properties when placed in contact with each other and thus offer hundred of potential closure systems for a wide range of application the effectiveness of the fasteners is maintained even after repeated fastening and unfastening these fasteners find their application in almost all types of garments they are effectively used in footwear home furnishing surgical and orthopedic products automobiles upholsteries luggages and soft toys they are also used to hold together the human heart during the first artificial heart surgery it is also used in nuclear power plants and army tanks to hold flashlights to, to walls in cars it is used to bond headliners floor mats and speaker covers it is used in homes when pleated draperies holding carpets in place and attached upholsteries hook and loop fasteners are generally made of nylon and polyester nylon filament yarns of denier 100 140 170 210 280 300 and 430 are used the product is available in width ranging from 12 mm to 125 mm and the length of 25 meters through though it can be produced to any length 
depending upon the consumer's requirement. The next aspect we will be seeing are labels. Labels are generally the smallest part of cloth textiles is considered as the most important part. It is a piece of material attached to an object to show its content, tender, use and purpose. Labels are used in garments, home furnishing, stuffed toys, soft luggages, shoes and in fabric accessories. Labels have major application in garments where the labels are expected to have smooth feel and durable to regular wear and washing as well as they should not slag. The size of labels vary as size labels 12 mm to 25 mm width, pocket label 15 mm to 30 mm width and wash care labels as 25 mm to 40 mm width. There are two primary categories of labels namely printed and oven. Printed labels are often printed on materials such as satin, acetate, polyester, nylon and cotton twill. Oven labels are also available in various finishes of fabric choice. Clothing labels come in various styles. The product is available in the following format as continuous tape in roll form, cut seal, cut folded in end fold, center fold and filled or stuffed labels, die cut labels, laser cut labels, ready to stick labels and so on. The demand for labels is majorly governed by the demand of apparel, home furnishing, stuffed toys and soft luggages. The domestic market size of labels is estimated at 18,560 million pieces valued at rupees 1,280 crores. Indian oven label industry has around 500 blooms and are concentrated in several cities like Bangalore, Delhi, Tirupur, Bombay, Ahmedabad, Calcutta and other cities of North and Northeast. The key manufacturers are Unique Tags, Global and Coclation Exports. Over 70% of all imports take place from Hong Kong, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. India also has 30% exports. The next aspect we will be seeing is the umbrella fabric. Umbrella fabric is a medium weight plain weave taffeta fabric used for manufacturing umbrellas. The umbrella fabrics used these days are polyester, nylon, taffeta fabric with 70 denier. Umbrella fabrics are made of polyester filament yarns or nylon filament yarns in various constructions that is 150T, 160T and 190T where T indicates the thread density. The GSM of umbrella fabrics typically range from 110 to 280 based on the type of umbrella. The umbrella fabric is expected to be waterproof for rainy seasons, should maintain physical properties during extreme ultraviolet exposure in summer season and should have high tass resistance and high abrasion resistance. The taffeta fabric is not manufactured in India and is imported. The entire umbrella fabric requirement is met through imports which ranks around 80% from China. The key manufacturers of umbrella in India are quality umbrella manufacturers, Metro Umbrella Industry, Guru Nanak Industry and Village Craft Orissa Industry. The next aspect we will be seeing is sewing threads. Sewing thread is a ply or cable yarn used for stitching of apparel, hosiery, embroidery, footwear, leather goods, quilted mattress, sports goods, industrial gloves, automatic seats, seat belts, upholsteries, parachutes, sails and tents. Sewing threads are made of natural fibers like cotton, silk, artificial fibers like nylon, polyester or their blends. 
and perfect sewing thread should conform to have high standard of single thread strength, perfectly balanced twist and color fastness. It should be free from yarn defects like knots, cuts, struggling twists, slubs and other irregularities. Technological development have resulted in manufacturing of surgical sewing threads which are biodegradable and can be used for major surgeries. Once the surgery is over, the patient can be discharged and the sewing thread will get dissolved by itself without any side effects. Sewing threads are available in different counts ranging from 18 text to 240 text. The market size for sewing thread is estimated to be 1,30,000 MT valuing at rupees 3,900 crores. The key manufacturers of sewing thread in the organized sectors are Madra Coats, Mahavid Spinning Mills and Protect Meridian. Indian sewing threads are exported to more than 45 countries. The imports of sewing threads are dominated by specialized threads like threads used for seat belts and automatic seat covers. Summary Cloth tech industry is an evergreen industry. Every man wants to look best and unique. Cloth tech lays the foundation for this desire of mankind. We have seen a gist of different types of accessories, their properties, types that contribute to cloth tech industry. Since the need of apparel is increasing day by day, the demand for accessories are also increasing resulting in market growth and research. Now we will be seeing another sector in this module that is home textiles. Ho the home textile segment of technical textiles comprises of the textile components used in household application. They include textile material used in and outside a building. They are made up of both natural and synthetic fibers. Filter fabrics non oven wipes, blinds, carpet bagging fabrics and stuffed toys are high growth potential areas in this sector. Fiber fill, pillow and mattresses together constitute over 50% of technical textile usage under home tech segment followed by blinds with a share of around 20%, stuffed toys with a share of 13% and carpet backing cloth with around 9%. Now we shall see the objectives of this segment. At the end of this section, the learner will be able to know the various product categories in home textiles and their application in day to day life. We shall see the definition for home textiles. Home textiles are any type of fiber yarn or fabric used to develop products which are a part of the interior and exterior of a building. They contribute to towards the best utilization and easy movement of area. Home textiles add color, life and comfort to this part of the building. Now we shall be seeing the different products under home textiles. Home textiles lay the foundation for comfortable life. They enhance every room by appearance and also help in the smooth conduct of activities. Each room in the house namely hall, dining, kitchen, bedroom and bathroom and other rooms or working cabinets in offices use some type of home textiles. The most common home textile products are sofa covers, tablecloth, carpet, wall hangers, television covers in the hall or reception area, dining linens, napkins, towels in the dining area, hand towels, aprons in the kitchen bedspreads, covers, mattress, mattress covers, pillow, pillow covers, blankets, foot mats in the bedroom, towels and bath meshes in the bathroom. Apart from these, curtains and draperies are used in almost all rooms. They are used along doorways and windows. All these items are produced using all types of fibers in different fabric construction methods. They are also produced in wide range of colors and designs. In order to make each of these products 
suitable for their specific end uses special finishes are also given there are number of textile products which go unseen in making the home textile products therefore in this module we will concentrate on the invisible products the first one what we will be seeing is fiber fills fiber fill refers to polyester stable fiber used as fillings for pillows decorative pillows cushions bolsters quilts comforts mattresses mattress toppers cushions furniture backings installing garments and soft toys fiber fills can be classified as virgin and regenerated hollow and solid and silicon and non silicon which are based on method of production cross section of the stable fiber and type of finishing the major advantages of fiber fills are better filling greater softness than cotton and other fibers of equal weight the filling quantity required with fiber fills is only 70 to 80% of cotton they have moisture and mildew resistance enhanced air circulation better bounds with repeated use and wash reliance industry limited is the largest manufacturer in india they are also imported from china argentina and usa the next component is carpet backing cloth carpets are one of the soft floor coverings used in home textiles they are tufted hand knotted woven or non woven they are made by hand and machine generally all carpets have a backing cloth carpet packing cloth is used as a support material for both woven and tufted carpets they add strength and life to the carpet carpet packing cloth is classified into primary and secondary carpet packing cloth the primary carpet packing is a base fabric on which the pile yarns are tucked and anchored to make the carpet and the secondary carpet packing cloth is a fabric bonded on the back side of the carpet forming a under layer primary packing is manufactured mainly from synthetic fabrics secondary backing is made of both jute and woven polypropylene in order to create a smooth surface lactis is applied on the carpet the major manufacturer of carpet backing cloth are brilla corporation and gloss industries with reference to import and export jute carpet backing cloth is imported from bangladesh and synthetic backing cloth is exported to usa the next aspect is filter filter fabrics are materials which separate any two state of matter namely solid liquid and gas the separation is between themselves and among themselves filter fabrics range from simple tea filters in the kitchen to high tech filter fabrics like hvac system filters which are used in industries commercially and residential building where humidity and temperature need to be closely regulated generally all types of filter fabrics have the qualities like resistance to heat chemicals good strength shake off dust easily and simple maintenance the non woven filter fabrics are generally needle punched and have a gsm of 200 to 250 the next aspect what we will be seeing is non woven wipe a wipe is a small piece of cloth used for the purpose of cleaning and disinfection wipes could be woven knitted or non woven non woven wipes are recently gaining popularity on account of their excellent absorbency and smoothness the product is available as dry as well as wet wipes wet wipes are designed for specific application like baby wipes non woven wipes are made from viscose polyester polypropylene and are available in variety of sizes majority of non woven wipes are manufactured by spun lace technology the wipes are expected to be smooth and soft with good absorbency brilla cellulose are the leading manufacturers of wipes over 50% of imports take place from china and singapore the exports of non woven wipes 
in India is negligible. The next aspect is mosquito net. Mosquito net is an essential item used all over the country for protection from mosquitoes. Therefore, the market for this item exists throughout the year. Nylon net consists of 96% of raw materials cost for the mosquito net. Cotton is also used for making mosquito nets. This is available in different colors. The next aspect is stuffed toys. The word stuffed toys make everyone feel warm and happy. They are also referred to as plush toys and soft toys are made up of soft woolen knitted pile and felted fabrics stuffed with filling material. Stuffed toys are entirely textile material. In the modern days, they have become a part and parcel of children's bedroom accessories, adolescent girls pillows and sometimes a showpiece even in the living room. The outer fabric of or skin of the stuffed toy is made of fur, polyester, felt or acrylic. The skin is stuffed with various materials such as polyester staple fiber fill, foam, cloth scrapes, paper foam, cotton or even blend of cotton polyester. The toys are manufactured in different shapes, sizes, colors and height. The fabric were primarily imported from China, Korea and Hong Kong but now they are locally available. Ro low grade stuffed toys are manufactured by unorganized home based units. Manufacturing of branded stuffed toys are concentrated in Calcutta. India also imports these stuffed toys from China and exports its made to Denmark, Tanzania and Saudi Arabia. The next aspect is window blinds. A window blind is a window covering which comprises of long strips of fabrics or rigid material. A blind limits observation thus termed as blinds. They are made up of wide range of fabrics and colors depending upon the aesthetic and functional requirement. The desired functional performance include light and glare control, desired out view, easy in handle and maintenance and smooth circulation of air and sound. The most common window blinds are slat blinds which consist of horizontal slats usually made of metal and vinyl strips connected with decorative strips. They are different types of blinds namely Venetian, wooden, mini, micro, pleated and honeycomb. Different types of coating are also done on the fabric for blinds to make it water resistant, dust resistant, stain free and fade resistant. Some of the popular manufacturers of blinds in India are Hunter, Dunkless, Mac Decker Limited, India Export Blinds to countries like Netherlands, UK, Germany, Italy, France and Singapore. Apart, we also import blinds from China which amounts up to 41% of local consumption. To sum up, home textiles. Home textiles is an industry which is growing and it occupies a major position in the market of technical textiles. Result of urbanization and increase in population has increased the demand for home textiles. Every new product, especially wipes, towels, find demand in market. Special finishes like fragrance, antimicrobial, stain guard have enhanced home textiles.